Welcome to Hot Air TV. I'm Michelle Malkin, continuing our series of Baghdad video reports. On the front burner today, civilian volunteers in Iraq. In his State of the Union address this month, President Bush sought help in Iraq from what may seem like an unlikely source, civilian experts. The second task we can take on together is to design and establish a volunteer civilian reserve corps. Such a corps would function much like our military reserve would ease the burden on the armed forces by allowing us to hire civilians with critical skills to serve on missions abroad when America needs them. We'd give people across America who do not wear the uniform a chance to serve in the defining struggle of our time. On our visit with troops to Al Salam in West Baghdad, we saw a place where that expertise could be put to good use. This mostly Shia neighborhood is one of Baghdad's most functional areas. There are jobs and schools here, and the neighborhood's security is improving. This neighborhood advisory council in Al Salam meets with American troops every week to consult on security issues and discuss ways to create jobs and improve their lives. Today's meeting centers on starting up a school lunch program. While they're hunting for insurgents and battling militias, our troops have to engage in this part of the battle too. Helping Baghdad's communities help themselves dries up recruits for the militias and insurgents. It's vital work, central to Iraq's security and ours, even if it doesn't produce a gripping video or harrowing reads. And the fact is, most of our troops aren't trained to be both mayors and warriors at the same time. When we met with the troops at FOB Justice, most of them supported the troop surge, but also called for civilian assistance. I think uh, it goes back to the whole theory of uh, insurgency. If we stay focused along military lines and kinetic operations, we will be here forever. Um, and that plays right into the enemy's hands. The uh, interagency support is, um, is not where it needs to be. We do not have the full weight of the American talent in this fight. And I tell you, it's, it's no fault of the people that are here. Um, all of the interagency folks I talk to here are truly great Americans that are committed to making a difference. And so we're all trying to figure out how to work together, but there just are not enough of them. There are not, you know, we, we haven't even completed fielding the PRTs and getting enough folks, and that's just the provincial level. That's not addressing the local level, which is where you really need people on the, at the grassroots level affecting change so that you're, you're hitting every echelon simultaneously. Um, then we could really, I think that the change here, especially as complex as this insurgency is, must start from the ground up. President Bush must have finally heard that call for help. The Civilian Expert Corps isn't a new idea. It's a return to an idea that worked a long time ago. This is astronomer Edwin Hubble. He's most famous for discovering the Big Bang. The Hubble Space Telescope is named after him. He's less famous for his work at Aberdeen Proving Ground in Maryland. He spent the years of World War II there using his expertise in physics to improve the artillery the Army used against the Nazis in Japan. President Bush's call is for patriots like Hubble to help the military however they can. The troops we talked to would welcome it. Till next event, I'm Michelle Mulkin for Hot Air.